During 2021, we have talked about the shortage of GPUs and the difficulty of putting together a custom computer, either for gaming or high-end content development, video editing, or whatever other purpose you might be interested in. First, a word from our sponsor, Crypto.com, home of the Visa card that pays you up to 8% in rewards and the app that pays you up to 14.5% annually on your crypto stake. Join more than 10 million users on the world's fastest growing crypto app as you trade with confidence on the world's fastest and most secure crypto exchange. More information and a special sign-up offer at the end of this video. And one thing that we've talked about a lot this year, now I've talked about it in previous years, but far more so this year is, why don't you all just buy pre-built computers? And I think a lot of people have a negative connotation towards them because they've seen videos about Dell Alienwares and HP whatevers and Acer something or others. And while they're fine maybe for laptops, uh, Dell Alienware desktop PCs are, to put it bluntly, complete and utter crap and not worth your time. Uh, HP, Lenovo, Acer, all their pre-built desktop machines, yeah, I'm just gonna have to give that a big fat negative. On the other hand, custom pre-built PCs are not. Now we've been covering custom pre-built PCs since 2016. One of our first successful video series we did way back when we were a new YouTube channel was the $720 CyberPower PC. I did a whole video series benchmarking. I showed it how to upgrade the RAM, how to add an SSD, clone the hard drive, because this thing came with a hard drive, not an SSD. Clone the hard drive to an SSD. I uh, did a bunch of game benchmarks and other tests on it. We've done multiple upgrade videos. We still own that machine. It went from an i5-6400 to an i7-7700K to a Ryzen 7 3700X to a Ryzen 9 3900X. It's gone from 8 to 16 to 32 to now 64 gigs of RAM. It now has 7 terabytes of SSD space in it, all in the original case, all with the original power supply, although everything else at this point, including cooler, motherboard, and storage have all been changed out, but case and power supply are still original. Correct. You know one of the most common comments I got on that original video five years ago? Oh, well, you can't buy that. Those power supplies are complete crap. Really? Five years, four CPUs, and now a Ryzen 9 later runs just fine. Um, people like to say things because they read it on Reddit. They heard it. A buddy told them. They guessed it. They thought it. I see so many people say things... And I, not, not to be inconsiderate, but a lot of people pull ideas and thoughts right out of the, uh, the, the back end of the horse. And they're not true, or they're mostly not true. Here's one truth. The power supply in that original Cyber Power PC is not an 80-plus gold, fully modular, 10-year warranty EVGA, or C-Sonic, or Super Fire power supply. It's not. You know what it is? It's a 600 watt super budget power supply that's not fancy at all. It won't run a 3090. Nope. But it runs his 3070 just fine. So he went from an RX 480 to a GTX 980 Ti to a 2060. Yep. 2060 Super. Yep. And then 3070. Correct. All on that original pre-built power supply. Now, we are going to upgrade it here at some point. We'll replace the case. It'll finally be time to retire it. But I think we've gotten our money's worth out of that $720 PC. <laughs> yes, we have. We almost need to keep it, or at least keep the shell, because it's a great... It'll When we finally get a set built where we put stuff behind us, it'll be how awesome will it be for me to be able to just point to it and say, that's the $720 PC. Okay, it's only a case in power supply at this point, but that was the $720 PC. All right. So, with that very long preamble out of the way, this is an interesting comment that I cut and tweeted. This was actually a comment left on our Learn Tricks to Upgrade i7 to i5 to i7 with custom pre-built deals over uh, on Bite Size Tech, which if you're watching this there, then right here. Hi guys, another great video. I've been watching a lot of your content lately and how love how informative you guys are. Rogue, why don't you take it away? 
I do need some help opinion on what I should do. So currently I'm running an i5 4690K with a GTX 970, old I know, eight years. I'm looking into building a new PC for gaming and getting back into streaming. Currently only have the case, a Corsair 4000D but I don't know where to go for new components because of all the new gen releases, but also don't want to absolutely ruin my wallet. I was considering a cheap option of an i5 12600K with a 3060 Ti, but that can change as CPU GPU will be last to buy. Any help would be appreciated. Keep up the great work. This poor gentleman is gonna screw himself, not in a good way because he's buying the parts one piece at a time and he will end up at a spot where he can't find the CPU or he can't find the motherboard or he can't find the GPU and he'll end up with parts that are not necessarily compatible and he'll change his mind through the process. I have seen it over and over and over. Buy all your parts in the same month because after all, when you put the whole thing together, if you run into a problem, you're still in the 30 day return period, you send it back to wherever you bought it from. If you buy the parts over several months, then... How do you return it if yeah. it doesn't work and then you've got this brand new part and then, whoopsie. Second of all, this gentleman is the perfect candidate to buy a pre-built. There's nothing in this current machine worth saving. He is on DDR3 RAM. That is yes. a Haswell refresh chip. Yep. That is a four core, four thread chip. There's nothing there worth saving. His board's not worth saving. His RAM's not worth saving. His video card's not worth saving. With the power supply that old, I wouldn't bother at this point. His case is old, he's already bought a new case. He wants to game and stream. There's nothing on that machine worth saving. No. There is a lovely pre-built that we covered the other day in the iBuyPower video, because the iBuyPower does custom PCs out of standard off-the-shelf parts, either ready-built systems, or you custom configure them and they'll put them together using, you can pick from different motherboards, pick from different RAM, pick from different uh, graphics cards, and they'll build it just for you out of the same stuff you'd buy at Newegg or Amazon. And we just covered that here on Bite Size Tech. In fact, hopefully Rogue remembers to link that down below. Note to Rogue. $1,650. Do you know what you get for $1,650? What? An i5, 12600K, and an RTX 3060 Ti. And what's he interested in? An i5, 12600 with a 3060 Ti. And that system from iBuyPower had 16 gigs of RAM, mm -hmm. a terabyte of NVMe. Yep. I think it had a 700 watt or 750 watt. I don't remember because I'm not looking at it at the moment. Um, it was in a standard case. Now, it wasn't a Corsair 4000D. I mean, there's that was a ready-built system, meaning they were ready to ship out within two days. Those were pre-built systems. You can go into their custom configurator. And for just a little bit more than $1,650, we did one where we ended up at just over $2,000. Oh, yep. But for just over $2,000, you actually got an i7-12700K instead of the i5. You got 32 gigs of RAM. You got two terabytes of NVMe. You did. Um, you got a 3070, I think it was, instead of 3060 Ti. Bit and of supply. Uh, 850 watt, 80 plus gold. 360 millimeter liquid cooler. Yes. And a bunch of other upgraded parts, upgraded motherboard, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, that's like a kitted out awesome system. For somebody in this gentleman's shoes who doesn't go spend two grand and buy one of those, trying to put together parts right now, because it's tough. DDR5 is simply unavailable. It is unobtainium, basically. Now you can buy DDR4 boards for Alder Lake, which is what he would need to do. Mm -hmm. But guess what? If you go to Amazon and Newegg right now, the DDR4 boards are completely 100% sold out because now they've got DDR5 boards, but what difference does it make? DDR5 is going for unbelievably stupid prices. We're talking like over $500 for 32 gigs of RAM. That's just no. No deal. You can buy 32 gigs of DDR4 for $99 right now, 3,600. It's just, it's absolutely insane. DDR5 is kind of like the video cards. Yeah. You can't find them. No. And so to anybody who has a four, five, six-year-old computer, he's got an eight-year-old computer. Run, don't walk by a new machine. Yeah. Upgrading that is a complete waste of your time. Now, I can hear everybody already. But tech, 
I'm an enthusiast and I want to custom build my own machine. Okay. Are you prepared to pay for that? It will be expensive. Until we get out of the current difficulties with shortages out the wazoo, it will be expensive. Finding the board, finding the RAM, finding a graphics card, putting it all together in a timely fashion is going to be expensive. You will find it very difficult to compete with those prices. Um, it, it's just, it's the nature of the market. And I've owned a couple of iBuy Power machines. And of course, if you don't, for whatever reason, like iBuy Power, Cyber Power is fine. Uh, New Eggs ABS, ABS brand, Advanced Battle Stations, they do the same thing. They build machines there as well. And they both do ready to ship systems, as Correct. well as they have a custom configurator, which for a $99 fee, you can pick out your parts on New Egg and they'll assemble the whole thing and ship it to you. And we've got a video on Bite Size Tech going through that. And they reserve some of their GPUs for their custom configurator. Correct. So if you don't get one otherwise, that's a nice way to get a to get a to get a card. So options exist. They do. But scounging for parts. Well, there's a hard way and then there's a smart way. We're trying to give you the smart way. There's a small segment of the enthusiast population that turns their nose up like they're too good for pre-builds. I think a some of them are thinking of like the Dell Alienwares, which I are absolutely garbage. Run away from those as fast as you can. But I think also some of them are thinking, well, if I don't get to pick out my exact motherboard, if I don't get to pick out my exact cooler and brand of RAM and everything else, well, then it's just not really mine. Well, on the custom configurators on CyberPower, iBuyPower, etc., you lot. can pick a lot of it. You don't get unlimited choices, but you can pick a lot. But the final point I'll make is this. How much are you willing to spend to have unlimited choice? You can buy anything you want if you have enough money. But you didn't come to us because you wanted to pay crazy money. As he said in his comment, he doesn't want to absolutely ruin his wallet. $2,000, custom pre-built, i7, 2 terabytes, 32 gigs of storage, uh, mesh tower case with airflow, 360 liquid cooler. What more do you want? That's a rocking machine for a, for a deal in the current environment. It is what it is. And if you don't want to do it, hi, Elon Musk. <laughs> he can do whatever he wants. He can. Hopefully that helps you. Check out the links down in the description below because lovely rogue here will make sure that there are several to some of those things we referenced. How many of you have a Visa card that pays you up to 8% on every purchase? Crypto.com offers an amazing deal on their Visa card with cash back that is an unbeatable deal. No annual fee, no sign-up fee, and no credit checks or interest payments. It works just like a prepaid debit card, allowing you to spend your money everywhere Visa is accepted. But wait, there's more. Get your Spotify, Netflix, and Amazon Prime subscriptions 100% paid for by Crypto.com. Yes, you heard me right. Use your new Crypto.com Visa card to pay for your subscriptions and you get 100% back in rewards. How would you like to earn up to 14.5% annual interest on your crypto holdings? If you're holding crypto for investment, inflation protection, or price speculation, it can be frustrating feeling like your money is just parked. Interest is paid weekly directly to your account to spend however you like. The interest is also paid in the same token that you're holding. So if you have Bitcoin staked, you are in Bitcoin. If you have Ethereum staked, you are in Ethereum, and so on. Of course, you can also buy, sell, and exchange 200 plus different cryptocurrencies. Crypto.com is first and foremost a crypto exchange. Its features including a private wallet with full control of your private keys, margin and derivatives trading options for advanced traders, crypto credit allows you to borrow against your holdings with no deadlines or credit checks, crypto NFTs allows you to explore the new world of non-fungible tokens, Crypto Pay allows you to pay any merchant with crypto and earn up to 10% back in rewards. If you are looking for the place to be in crypto, use our link down in the video description below to sign up today. 
you will get a $25 crypto signup bonus and 30 days of 0% transaction fees on credit and debit card purchases of crypto. It supports the channel and gets you a great offer to get started.